Hi there! I'm just your average mom of this family of three, soon to be four, and today is a special day because I'm feeding my family their favorite breakfast for the last time. That's because these foods are doing more harm than we realize, and someone's gotta look out for my family's future. And the culprit, believe it or not, is refined flour. That's right, pancakes, breads, pastas. Some of our favorite foods are packed with refined flour, which comes from wheat, and it's slowly sabotaging our health. Mm. For thousands of years, wheat was whole and a healthy staple of our diet. It was fresh and packed with nutrients like protein, fiber, antioxidants, and vitamins. But in the late 1800s, technology started to emerge, which allowed for a faster grain grinding process, which gave companies more control over the parts that make up a grain. Cassidy, get the lights. Companies could now separate the parts of the grain, allowing them to produce refined flour, better known as white flour, at a much lower cost, instead of selling and producing the more costly whole wheat flour. This wheat revolution was praised as progressive at the time. The new flour kept longer, deterred pests, and most importantly, meant bigger profits. So it was sold to the masses. While all this sounds great, we've ended up paying a pretty high price for progress. And to make matters worse, after decades of crossbreeding and hybridization, we are left with wheat that contains anywhere from 12 to 30% less vitamins and minerals than it did in the early 20th century. Have a good day at school, sweetheart. Pick you up at two. Refined flour removes the parts of the grain that are richest in nutrients and fiber. So while wheat continued to be a staple in the modern diet, it was stripped of everything that made it good for the human body. Because the wheat grains are stripped of their nutrient-rich outer layer, they are digested much more quickly and therefore enter the bloodstream faster, which triggers a blood sugar spike, which also triggers a rapid insulin response. Regularly eating foods containing refined flour can build up a resistance to insulin, which often lead to problems related to high blood glucose and cholesterol levels and other digestive and inflammatory issues. Hey, how you doing today? This empty, less nutritious, refined flour is a serious problem, and it's in some of my family's favorite foods. It's everywhere and in everything. Not even our chicken is safe anymore. And if that doesn't cause you to stop and think, then we have an even bigger problem. The foods that are made with refined flours are some of the most difficult for us to give up. Don't believe me? Try feeding green beans to an eight-year-old who was raised on Cocoa Puffs. Okay, maybe not just eight-year-olds. Now I know what you might be thinking. That's understandable. It's nearly impossible in today's world to completely avoid refined flour. But thankfully, it's still possible to give your body the nutrients it needs. One way to combat the negative effects of refined flour is with fiber. Soluble fiber can help slow the body's breakdown of refined grains and the absorption of sugar, helping the body maintain healthy blood sugar control. And speaking of control, Fiber increases the feeling of satiety, making it easier to say no to that donut or that candy bar or those supersized fries. Unicity Balance is a great way to get the fiber you need. It's nearly four times as soluble as normal fiber, and the more soluble the fiber, the more impact it has on your blood sugar. Combined with healthier nutrition and less sugar consumption, balance can significantly change the amount of insulin in your blood, enabling your body to burn more fat and live healthier. Plus, it tastes like orange creamsicle. Yum! So the next time you're craving that pastry, bread, or cereal, try looking to cleaner sources of whole grains. And little by little, we can ensure our children enjoy a happier and healthier life. Let's dig in. 